longer enemy. He'll do it for you. And from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. It means they no matter the strength or the power of those enemies that were trying, they were trying to kind of wipe you out of the earth. Tonight the Lord is saying he will deliver you from those strong enemies. Even though they have been too strong for you, they are not too strong for the Lord. I said they are not too strong for the Lord. He prevented me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, as he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him. And I catch myself from my iniquity. Therefore, as the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my heart, it is I such that righteousness the Lord has given you will attract victory in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 27, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 27, reading from verse 1. The Lord is my heart and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Think about your life. For the people that make you afraid. What do they do that make you afraid? How do they look? Their faces, what's their stature, making you afraid. But tonight, the Lord is your strength and the Lord is your light. And the Lord is your salvation. Whom will you fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, he stumbled and he fell. He stumbled and he fell. After this day, anybody trying to run after you to destroy your life, they will stumble. And they will fall. Though an ocean encompass shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. The confidence of the Lord will come to your life tonight in Jesus' name. And the victory that Jesus Christ purchased. On the cross of Calvary, when he gave the spiritual knockout, knockdown, knock off against the devil, the victory will be yours tonight in Jesus' name. Psalm 1, 1, 2. Psalm 1, 1, 2. I'm reading from verse 6. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings, bad news. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until you see his desire upon who? Upon his enemies. That's why the Lord is telling you tonight that there's deliverance waiting for every one of us in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah chapter 31. Verse 11. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. Put your name there. I said you should put your name there. For the Lord has redeemed who? For the Lord has redeemed, that's you, he has redeemed you, and he has ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. He has redeemed us, 
He has ransomed us from the hands of the people that are stronger than we are. You know what we used to fear then? Because we felt hard. He's stronger than me. He's, bold. He's more bold than I am. He's more mighty, mightier than I am. And if he confronts me, he'll knock me down. But nobody will knock you down again. Because Jesus Christ, your Lord, your Master, your King, your Savior, he knocked him down on the cross of Calvary. And since that time, he has not recovered, he will never recover. That your enemies are knocked down, and then it says, The Lord has redeemed you and ransomed you from the hand of him that was stronger than you are. We're looking at uh, Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 is going to redeem you from all your enemies. So you have the freedom to live the righteousness and holiness before him all the days of your life. Luke chapter 1 verse 17. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that he, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's why we don't worry anymore. That's why we're not telling stories anymore. Do you know they hate me? It doesn't matter anymore. All those people that hate you, they will never hinder your progress in Jesus' name. Because we should be saved, delivered, set free from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promise to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the force which he swear to our father Abraham that he would be grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him power without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. He will deliver you. He has delivered in the past, is delivering now, he will keep on delivering you until the end of your life in Jesus' name. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. Second Timothy chapter 4. I mean it from verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me. And the Lord shall deliver me. From what? From some evil works. From the majority of those evil works. From what? From every evil work. And will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Point number two, you know, the defeat of all tormenting enemies. All tormenting enemies. I'm asking you a question now. Did anybody ever torture you? Ever tormented? Did anybody ever torment you? And you felt the pain, the heat of their torment. And every time you remember, and you see somebody that looks like that man that tormented you, that woman that tormented you when you were young, then the fear will come again. Tonight, all that fear is banished out of your life, out of your heart, in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 23, verse 22. The defeat of all those terrifying, tormenting, terrorizing enemies. Exodus chapter 23 verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies. And if your enemy has the almighty God as his enemy, then that enemy is pinched. The one that opened the Red Sea becomes an enemy to your enemy. That enemy is finished. And the one that made the Jericho walls so far flash 
as a result of the shouting of the people of God that same almighty God with almighty power becomes the enemy of your enemies those enemies they are, they are finished in Jesus name the one that conquered Goliath and the one that conquered all those villages and the one that conquered enemies of Jehoshaphat the one that sent the horses of fire and the chariots of fire for Elisha to protect him that same God that same creator God that same almighty God becomes the enemy of your enemies and I say tonight all those your enemies they are finished in Jesus name after tonight, when you are walking back to the hostel or anywhere you are going, you walk and stand up properly. And you square your shoulders. And you lift up your eyes. And you walk like the child of the king. And you walk like somebody that is owning the world for the Almighty God. Because nobody can stop you now, your progress. No enemy can hinder you anymore. In Jesus' name. From tonight and then tomorrow when you're going back home, you will not be walking and then your back is bent and then you're looking down as if you are praying to look on the faces of people. You're stretching up and your chest out like a militant soldier and you look at everybody eyeball to eyeball and say, I'm the child of a king. I am the child of a king. I am the child of a king. And the places you are afraid to go before, after tomorrow, go back there. The places you are running away from before, after tomorrow, go back there. How about the enemies that are waiting for you? If you know where they are, go back there. And when you, when you show up, you'll say, He is coming. Fire will come out of your eyeballs. Power and authority will come out of your mouth. And when you stand and you declare anything, it shall be done in Jesus' name. Because an army of God's militant people, they are leaving this place tomorrow, and we're going back to where we came from, and every hill will be leveled before you in Jesus' name. And all those giants and the sons of Anakim that tried to make the children of Israel go back and they could not get to the land of Canaan, they will not stop you. I said they will not stop you. And the people that put any curse upon your life tonight, I remove that curse in Jesus' name. Because it says in verse 22, but if thou shall indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies and an adversary to all thine adversaries. Leviticus chapter 26. Leviticus chapter 26. I'm reading to you there from verse 3. If you will walk, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in a season. The land shall yield an increase. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and you shall eat your bread to the full. I thought you will say, Amen. Economic meltdown will not catch you. There will be no farming in your home. There will be no farming in your business. There will be no farming in your family. And then it says, you will dwell in your land safely. I will give peace in the land. And you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. I will redeem all peace out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land anymore. And ye shall chase your enemies. Ye shall chase your enemies. And they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase an hundred. And an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 33. 
Deuteronomy chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 27. Deuteronomy chapter 33. And we're looking at verse 27. The eternal God is my refuge. On the knees at the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee. And shall say, destroy them. Verse 29. Happy art thou, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord, the shield of thy hell, who is the sword of thine excellency, and thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Psalm 89, Psalm 89. Your enemies are defeated already. That amen will defeat your enemy. When you go back home, you go back in confidence, rejoicing that the promises of God are yes and amen in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 89, verse 22. The enemy shall not exact upon him. Not the son of the of wickedness afflicting, they will not be able to afflict you anymore. All those sins that came to crawl on your back and crawl on your body, all those serpentine spirits trying to destroy you and trying to delay the miracle power of God in your life, they are destroyed tonight. And I will beat down his enemies exposed before his face and plague them that hate him. And my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his own be exalted. Jeremiah chapter 20. We're looking at Jeremiah now. Jeremiah chapter 